All right, welcome back everyone to part two of our NURBS Curve Basics tutorial. And in this one, I wanna show you a few tips that can help you out when you're working with the NURBS Curve that I wish I knew when I was starting out. Um, for those that missed part one, I'll post a link down below. Um, in that one, we went over how to create the curve, the different components, as well as um, some of the different curve tools within Maya as well. All right, let's get started. Uh, let's hop into the orthographic view. So I'm gonna tap the spacebar. Hover over the front panel, tap the spacebar again, and then I'm gonna turn off the grid as well. All right, next I'm gonna grab one of the curve tools. Let's go to the Create tab, Curve Tools, and I'm gonna use the CV Curve tool. And I'm gonna start drawing out a curve. So I'm gonna start placing a few points. And I'll stop maybe right about here. So I have this curve and I'm gonna complete it by pressing Enter on the keyboard. And let's just say I completed the curve, but I want to continue working on the curve. I want to draw out more points and keep building that curve. So let me show you how you would do that. Um, we'll select the curve. We'll go up to the Curves uh, tab. And I'm actually going to tear this off. We're going to go over a few of the uh, features over here. Um, not all of them. Some of them are actually pretty basic, and you probably figure it out yourself. But I want to go over the ones that I find are pretty important. So I have this curve. Over here, we have this Add Points tool. And I'm going to click on that, and now our curve is back into that drawing mode. So we can go and continue drawing um, our curve. So something like that. All right. I'm going to complete the tool again. This time I'm going to hold down the right mouse button, complete tool. And so this is the curve. And let's just say that we have a curve that we want to start drawing in the opposite direction. So for tip number two, what I want to show you is how to reverse this. And it's actually just very easy. I'm going to select the curve. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to hold down the right mouse button to go to Control Vertex. And you can see that um, the first CV is indicated by a square. And so we know that the curve is running in this direction. So what I'm going to do is select the curve. And down here, we have something called Reverse Direction. Click on that. And it's unclear if anything happened. But the reason why we have that is that if we select the curve, go back to Control Vertex, we can see that that square CV is sitting on this side. So we know the curve is running in this direction now. So let's try it out. We'll select the curve and we'll grab that Add Points tool. And just like that, we were able to reverse the direction of the curve. All right. I'm going to bring it, build it up to here. And then I'm just going to complete it again. Uh, let's just say we have a curve and I would like to add more points. Um, uh, let's just select the curve. I'm actually going to delete a couple points to make it a bit more clear. So I have this section over here and I'd like to add a point right in here so that I can build it out. So just pretend we had this initially, right? So what we can do is I can select the curve and I can hold down the right mouse button, go to curve point, and with the curve point selected, I can select anywhere on the curve and I can get the point at that location. So what we want to do is select a point maybe around here. Over here, we want to insert a new CV, but there's actually nothing here that indicates that. What we're looking for is insert not. I'm going to open up that option box and just reset this. And these are the defaults. It's going to add a knot at the selection and it's going to increase it by how much I want to specify. I just need one knot. Um, so I'm going to click insert. And now I have a new CV that I can move back out and just fix that a little bit. You can see over here, it's a little more low resolution than the rest of the curve. So I could put a knot right here as well, a new CV. So let's try it. I'm gonna to go to curve point, select over here, and I'm gonna click insert knot. And notice um, the um, resolution will change. So I'm gonna click insert knot, and you can see that's smoother now. And I can go in here and just bring this out a little bit to um, smooth it out a little bit more. All right, so I have this open curve right now, and the next thing I wanna show you is how to close um, an open curve. So we have this curve over here. We have something called open close. I'm going to open up that option box. And um, these are the default settings. I'll just make sure, right? And we can click apply and it'll close that curve for us. If we click apply again, it'll open it up, right? So we can close this curve and now we have our um, bean. <laughs> it's a bean shape. All right, so I'm just going to select this, close this up. And I'm actually going to delete this, so we don't need this anymore. All right, so the next thing I want to show you is how to cut a curve. So let's grab a curve tool. So create curve tool, CV curve tool. And I'm just going to draw out another curve. Maybe something like this. 
Right, so we have this curve, and I would like to cut it in half, or maybe not half, but cut it somewhere on the curve. So to cut it, what we're going to need to do is choose a point. So I'm gonna select the curve, hold down the right mouse button, go to curve point, and we can select anywhere on the curve we'd like to cut. We could even cut multiple locations if we want, but I'm just going to choose maybe a point right here. And then over here, what we're looking for is detach. So I'm gonna click detach, and now we have this curve over here, and this one over here. So I'm um, just gonna move it so you can see a bit better. All right, so we have two curves. So next, I wanna show you how you can attach a curve. So over here, you can already see we have attached, so that's what we're gonna use. Let's try it. Box it like this, and we'll click attach. Um, we're gonna end up with a peculiar looking curve, and the reason for that is Maya will save that curve. I'm just gonna undo that. I don't need to save that, so I'm just gonna open this up reset this, and I'm gonna turn off Keep Originals and click Attach. And there you go, that's my curve, and now it's nicely attached for us. All right, let me see what else is on the list. All right, um, sharp corners, okay. So say we have a curve, and you wanna uh, create a curve that has a sharp corner. Well, there's a couple ways. Maybe you uh, just wanna grab the CV Curve Tool or the EP Curve Tool. You can set it to linear, and you can draw curves that are straight, so that have a sharp angle. Um, and if you want to draw it in a straight line, just sorry, just undo that. Hold down Shift, and you can draw straight in those directions if you want. But let's just say you have a curve that's curvy, and you want to add a sharp turn in it. So to do that, what we're going to do is um, select it, hold down the right mouse button, go to Curve Point, and we want to sh uh, choose a point where we want it to be sharp. So maybe here. And then what I'm going to do is, uh, down here, what we're looking for is Insert Knot. Go open up that option box. And this time, we're going to increase the mount. So um, at the selection, I'm actually going to change it to maybe Multiplicity Set To, and I'm going to change this to 3. And then click Insert. All right, nothing's really happened yet, but if we take a look, we have these CVs over here that we can move that will give us a sharp corner. So, and I'll just move this over here, and you can see we have a nice sharp turn in that um, curve. All right, and then uh, smoothing. So let's just say that um, for the smoothing part, how do I wanna show you this? Uh, we'll do the, the pencil curve tool actually for this one. So I'm just gonna get rid of this. Um, for the next part, um, let's grab the Pencil Curve Tool. We'll go to Create, Curve Tools, Pencil Curve Tool, and I'm just going to draw out a curve. So this is just a freehand curve. You'll notice, though, with the Pencil Curve Tool, right, I have a mouse, so it's going to be extra jittery, but even with a pen, you'll notice that it will be a little bit um, not so smooth. And I would like to smooth out this curve. So what we can do is select it. Down here, we have something called Smooth. We also have something called smooth up here. They have bit different options. So this one has these factors. I find they both can work pretty much the same, but what I'm going to do is use the one at the bottom. So over here, I'm gonna open this up and we have a smoothest value and I'm just gonna click smooth. So notice that it's a little bit jittery. And I'll click smooth and it smoothed out that curve for us. So it's quite nice. And we can actually hit G, G to repeat and it'll keep smoothing that curve out. But I'm just gonna leave it. But yeah, that's that one. And then um, another thing I want to show you is how to rebuild a curve. So I'm going to use the Pencil Curve tool again for this. And what I'll do is I will draw it out. So with the Pencil Curve tool, what you'll notice is that if we take a look at the control vertices, we have a lot of them, right? And if you ever want to convert this to geometry, you're going to have a lot of um, segments. So what I want to do is reduce the num number of spans. So I'm going to select this curve, go to, what am I looking for? Um, rebuild. So I'm going to open up that option box. And over here, I'm just going to make sure this is reset. I can choose the number of spans. There's a lot of other options. I'll keep that default. You can play around with it if you like. But what I'm going to do is maybe increase this to 10. There we go. And then I'll click rebuild. And notice that curve is now actually smoothed out as well. So that's a, another way to smooth out your curve. And if we take a look at the CVs, we can see that we have a lot less of them, right? And we have 10 spans. 
All right, so I'm just going to delete that. And then actually, I'm going to keep that. So the last thing I want to show you for today is how to snap to a curve. And this is very useful for when you want to, say, extrude along a curve. So I'm going to go into the perspective view for this one. So I have this curve right here, and I want to snap something to this curve. Let's just say I want to snap um, another curve. So um, let's go create uh, nerves. We'll grab a circle. So we have the circle over here, and maybe I'll bring it up to here, and maybe I'll rotate it as well. And I would like to snap it to that curve. So right now this curve is in the center, so, so it's actually pretty easy to uh, get it into position. But let's just say the curve was, say, over here, right? So it's in 3D space, and it's a little bit difficult to line it up. What I can do is select this curve, and to snap to a curve, we need to hold down C on the keyboard and make sure that none of these transforms are highlighted. So if any of those are highlighted and turned yellow, you just want to press W to go to your Move tool to reset it. Otherwise, it's going to try and snap in that axis, and it may be difficult to snap to the curve. Um, so I'm going to hold down C on the keyboard, and then you need to hold down the middle mouse button and click on the curve. And there you go, it's snapped to that curve. And if you, um, right now, let me just do it again. If you don't let go of the middle mouse button, you can actually slide it along that curve. So let me show you how that looks as well. As well. So I'm going to hold down C, middle mouse click, and you may have to do it a couple times um, until it snaps. I let go of the middle mouse button accidentally there, but I'm going to try it again. There we go. And now if I move it along, it just slides along that curve, right? I want it to be at the start, right? And then you can, I don't know, extrude along that curve if you want, so. Uh, curves. I think it's this extrude. And there we go. So we have something like that happening. Um, you can notice that it's a little bit off, but you can go in here and just fix that offset. I think it's... Um, use component pivot. I don't remember. It's um, one of these. There we go. Fix that. All right, so that's a few tips for when you're working with the NURBS curve and the curve tools within Maya. Hopefully this has helped you out. Uh, that's it for this one, so we'll see you in the next. This has been Digital Dreambox your destination for game art.